Today, we are going to understand how do we work with content fragments in AEM 6.5 and the new assets HTTP API for content fragments. Let us directly go to a demo of working with content fragments. Here, we are going to see what is configuration browser, how do we create content fragment model, then create a content fragment, create content fragment variations, create annotations, create versions of content fragment, compare the versions, tag a user group using at annotation, author content fragment on a page, access content fragment using default JSON exporter framework. First, we will see the configuration browser. The configuration browser helps to set the configuration for a specific site so to access the configuration browser, we need to go to tools, general configuration browser. The configurations can be for the content fragments, editable templates, context hub, etc. In my previous video, I have explained more about it. I'll be creating the new content fragment under V retail site. So just ensure the configuration is set. So for that, we need to edit and find the properties. You can see that the content fragment model is enabled here. Now let us go and create a content fragment model. The content fragment model can be created through tools, assets, content fragment models. As mentioned, I'll be creating the model under the VRetail. So inside the VRetail site, I'll create click on create click on open here we have data types we can drag and drop the data types You can mention the comma separated fields here. Once the current fragment model is ready, I'll click on save. We have the newly created current fragment model ready. So let us go and create a content fragment from this model. For that, we need to go to Assets, Files, go inside the folder we retail, create content fragment. Here, the content fragment models are available. I have created the my sample content fragment model. I'll select this as a template. Click on create. I'll click on open. You can see that created model is available. We can fill in the data.
I have saved the master variation for AEM 6.5. Let me go and update it again. I'll create a new variation. For the version 6.4, I will update the content. And I will create another variation. Let me update the content here for the AMC.3 version. I have created different variations. We also have the metadata option here. If any tags needs to be updated, we can add it. We can upload image. We can associate the content by clicking the associate content. We have the light box as of now as default. We associate content helps us to link a collection of assets with the current content fragment. We have annotation option. This is the way we can add a comment for the content fragment. So when a user logs in, he'll be able to see the different comments from various users. We can have add to specify some information to a group of users. So remember the first one was added as a comment and the second one was created to inform a specific group of people. We have options, once we select this, we have options to delete this too. Another way of adding annotations. Here I'm clicking on the description, entering the full screen. Now I can select something like an option called annotation here. You can see that the annotated text is highlighted. Now I'm saving this. Now once we select the timeline option and select the current content fragment, you can see that all the information about this content fragment is available here. Which are all the versions created and what are all the annotations comments got added. So if we need to go to a previous version, we can just select that thing and revert to this version. So the current content fragment will get reverted to the previous version. Whenever there is a save, a new version is getting created for the content fragment. I'm at version 1.4. Let me go back to the 1.3 version and compare to the current. Here you can see that what all the modification has come. You can see that 6.3 was not available during that time. Let me make it more clear. Let me edit this current fragment version so that we'll be able to identify how the comparison will help us.
save it. Select the content fragment. You can see that there is a new version 1.5 on top and previous version was 1.4. I'll click on the compare to current. You can see that the highlighted text here, this is newly added. This way, the compare version helps us to understand the newly added changes in content fragments. We have the content fragment ready. Let us go and over it on a page. Go to the V retail. US EN men. Click on edit. Let me add a content fragment here. Configure it to select the content fragment which I had created, which under V retail. I'll select multiple elements. And add everything. First, I'm going to add the master variation. You can see that master variation is appeared here. Let me add the another content fragment and author it for the same content fragment. Now let me configure it. This time I'll not be adding the date. And the variation is AEM 6.4. You can see the difference in the content. Let me add a third content fragment and configure it. I'll add title, description. List again. Then I'm going to select the variation AM6.3. Now, if we go to the preview mode, you can see that the content fragments are appearing on the page. How do we export this content fragment in a JSON format? For that, we need to use the URL. We don't need the editor.html and after men we need to add model.json. There are three content fragments as you can see here. So how do we access this content fragment? For that, let us go to CRXP. Access the path for the page. We have root, we have a responsive grid, under that you can see that there are three content fragments. To access the first one, we need to get the path for this. And similar way, a new path to be added here. So this is the first content fragment which we have ordered. 
you can see that the text is here for AEM 6.5 values AEM 6.5 And whatever other data it's coming here now if i need to access the second content fragment i need to get the url for the second content fragment append till model.json am6.4 you can see that the am6.4 is here and the text value which i had authored for the description And the third content fragment, which is having value AEM 6.3. The text of this content fragment gives an overview of AEM 6.3. This is the way we can access the content fragment using the default JSON framework.